All right, gang, I'm off to go see the opening night uh, premiere screening of Clint Eastwood's Sully. Over 40 years in the air, but in the end, I'm going to be judged on 208 seconds. I need a count, passengers and crew. Is anyone still here? Not to be confused with uh, Scully from the X-Files. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! It's on my brain now. Because uh, anyone that confuses Sully with Scully <laughs> clearly has issues. Hey, call me crazy, but has anyone ever noticed how Tom Hanks' reaction in the Sully trailer, Brace for Impact, is pretty much the exact same shot, the way it's framed, the way it kind of quickly zooms in, as uh, an eerily identical shot in Apollo 13 where he goes, Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Brace for impact. What? Paging Rod Serling. Anyway, for those who are really unfamiliar, this is a fact-based drama, it is about the miracle uh, on the Hudson, which is uh, based on that very famous um, crash landing of US Airways Flight 1549, I believe, in the Hudson River in 2009, which was piloted by Chelsea Sully, not Scully. <laughs> uh, Sully Berger. And the film uh, looks like it's going to be a chronicle of that event and the aftermath of it, so it looks very cool. Um, I've been kind of notoriously very hard on Clint Eastwood as of late, and I should say that I've been a lifelong devotee to the Eastwood, but I mean, his last several films have really been sort of hit or miss, and some of them have been misfire. Why is it everyone who ever knew you said that you're a sick son of a bitch? I was really not a fan of American Sniper. I thought Jersey Boys was maybe one of his most forgettable films. And it, you have a rendezvous with my ass. It's been nearly 10 years since he's made a truly great and masterful film. And I think that maybe teaming up with uh, Tom Hanks uh, for Sully uh, might be a step in the right direction for uh, the man with no name. So uh, I'm hoping uh, this is a home run because uh, I, I like Eastwood too much to uh, keep dumping on his films. Anyway, that's all I have to say, so I'm off to the cinema. I'm going to screen this bad boy. I'll be back with the review. All right, gang, I just got out of uh, Scully, and... <laughs> I called it Scully. I Damn! <laughs> It's on my brain now. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Clint Eastwood. Sully is a very interesting, yet very awkwardly constructed movie. It's also uh, really short. It, I think it clocked in at just under 90 minutes, um, which I think that must be one of uh, Eastwood's shortest films that I can ever recall. So basically it uh, obviously, as I alluded to earlier, deals with the very famous uh, Miracle on the Hudson and it essentially uh, really is about uh, Captain Sullenberger, who's obviously played by Tom Hanks, and his uh, co-pilot, who's played by Aaron Eckhart. I'll never get over how beautiful it is up here. Life's easier in the air. It's really about the aftermath of the crash landing, which Sully in the film very matter-of-factly corrects everyone by saying that it was a forced water landing. This was not a crash. This was dual engine loss at a lower altitude than any jet in history, with 155 souls on board. And really the whole arc of the film is about the uh i guess required investigation that went into the forced water landing to determine whether or not uh u.s airways flight 1549 uh indeed had no other option but to land in the hudson river okay which runway would you like at teterboro i've delivered a million passengers over 40 years but in the end i'm going to be judged on 208 seconds our job is to investigate how a plane ended up in the Hudson River. On the Hudson. 
It's not a crash. It was a forced water landing. The simulation showed that you could make it back to the airport. Not possible. I felt it go. Essentially, what forced the plane's landing was uh, a massive bird strike on both of the plane's engines, which caused complete engine failure, which left essentially no other options but for them to land in the river. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, but there is a question as to whether or not both engines did indeed fail. And that also leads to the questions as to whether or not Sully made ultimately the right choice. My aircraft, the aircraft. I want you to know I did the best I could. Of course you did. You saved everyone. People call you a hero. I don't feel like a hero. Show us your case, Super Sully! There's been too much talk in the press already. I'm overwhelmed by all this attention. The left engine was still operating. What if I didn't get this wrong? What if I endangered the lives of all those passengers? The film sort of, I guess, delves into the investigation and also into Sully's... Uh, you know, really his anxiety plagued conscience. Um, even he, in the aftermath of the event, begins to have his own doubts as to whether or not he actually did the right thing. And not only that, the whole investigation into the crash landing really starts to uh, gnaw away at him. Uh, on a positive, like, you know, Tom Hanks, I've often compared him to uh, Jimmy Stewart, and Jimmy Stewart, one of my favorite actors of all time, Jimmy Stewart was an actor that, you know, he was, he has such a low key and understated charisma and he was an actor that could play uh, comedy and drama really, really effectively and as he grew older, I think he matured as a performer. He was also uh, not shy away from playing darker roles and in a lot of ways, I think Hanks, he obviously has the everyman appeal of Jimmy Stewart. He obviously can bridge the gap between comedy and drama and he is, like Stewart, just an, is just an inordinately likable on-screen presence and he uh, he brings that really uh, under the radar uh, you know very understated charm and charisma to the part of Sully and I really think it's a, a very it's a very modulated performance and it's not flashing it's not ostentation you did everything you could it was more than enough when was your last drink Captain Solberg have you had any troubles at home really he's he is the solid anchor that makes this film work he's also flanked really really well by uh, Aaron Eckhart's uh, equally stalwart work uh, as the co-pilot, and they really have uh, a very effective one-two dynamic in the film. And the scenes of them, you know, like doing their job and in the cockpit, they feel completely authentic and real. They feel like a real pilot and co-pilot. So we're going to end up in the Hudson. I'm sorry. Say again, Cactus. Um, you know, Clint Eastwood uh, should get some real credit because his recreation of the uh, forced landing of uh, the airplane in question, I mean, it's really quite superb and is done with thanklessly credible and uh, believable visual effects. This is the captain. Brace for impact. But oftentimes he doesn't get a lot of notice or credit for being a solid technical director when it comes to like marrying uh, live action and visual effects and I think he does a real impeccable job of recreating the miracle on the Hudson. I guess if I were to have some problems with this film is that it, it's, a, as I mentioned earlier, it's a very awkwardly scripted film. Um, it sort of jumps back and forth in time in a very haphazard manner. Uh, there's also a lot of strange flashbacks that are kind of shoehorned into the narrative and that doesn't really seem to be particularly germane to the overall uh, narrative thrust of this film i think they probably could have excluded those the film's like again the way it sort of sort of meanders back and forth in time it's one of those rare cases where i think like an actual linear and straightforward narrative probably would have been the more concise and succinct manner of going about a film like this. It also should be known that this is not like a biopic. It's not trying to chronicle the entire uh, life history of Sully. It's really trying to capture uh, that moment in time in his life where he became an overnight celebrity and a celebrated hero. And let's be completely honest, Sully was indeed an American hero uh, that really deserved his moment in the spotlight. America, fuck yeah! Coming at the end to save the motherfucking day, yeah. It doesn't 
because it feels like it doesn't have like a third act. It sort of uh, it culminates with this uh, uh, investigation where they're basically called not so much to testify but to uh, sort of um, have the evidence presented to them, and then they're dealt with uh, uh, computer simulations and human human simulations of the crash. And, and then the film just sort of it just it just ends. Like I, I found that there were like it didn't feel like it had a beginning, middle, and end. It's the film feels like it's a series of scenes that are kind of constructed together, and then that's it. I would have really have preferred maybe a bit more of a thoughtful and more uh, thorough screenplay. I think considering uh, the scope of what this man did. <laughs> and what he accomplished because quite frankly the man is a savior he saved 155 lives Eastwood as a director I think has unfortunately lost a lot of his mojo um, I think his his best formative years are sort of behind him um, that's not to say that he's not a he's not a, a great and iconic director I'm just saying that I think I mean the guy's pushing 90 I think there has reached a point in his career where the magic of the Eastwood of old, like the, you know, the Oscar winning director of like Unforgiven and his great films like Changeling and Mystic River. I think those Eastwood films are kind of behind him. That's not going to happen. I'm on to you. Uh, his direction is very, uh, very assured and confident. It's very workmanlike. Uh, but would I put this on a pedestal with some of the better uh, Eastwood films? No, I think it's a. Uh, it's a good entry on his resume. I, I don't think it's a film that will be remembered um, fondly in the years to come. But a very noble-minded story that uh, certainly deserved to be told. And uh, Sully, you're a hero, man. A bona fide American hero. America. So anyway, there you have it. There's my review of Sully. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the film. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Tom Hanks' performance. Let me know what your favorite Tom Hanks films are. Let me know what your favorite Clint Eastwood films are, not only as an actor, but as a director. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could like this video, that would mean the world to me. Um, if you could also give me some subscribe love, that would be fantastic. Again, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you at the movies. Is anyone still here?